United USA 2020 and beyond. Check it out. And my next guest went viral, and he had a brilliant takedown of the toxic ideology at an Illinois school board meeting. Watch. When you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much what it's going to that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. Two medical degrees. No mom, no dad in the house. Work my way through college. Sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Joining me now, the man you just saw, Ty Smith, Illinois dad and radio host. Ty, now during that meeting, he not only called out the critical race theory uh, hoax, but also called out the people pushing it for ignoring you know, things that are actually very positive for black communities. Explain that. Well, the thing is that most of the time you have people in a room and it seems like everybody just kind of jump on board with what's going on. They give no thought to it. They ask no questions. Just said, oh, if this person says it's right, if this person says it's right, well, this must be right. So let's everybody jump on board. And while I sat in that room, I looked around. And I realized I was the only black person in there. And I had all these white people up telling, talking about the black experience. And none of them <laughs> looked like me in that room. And I'm trying to figure out how did they know this? Because I've never seen any of these folks in the areas that I grew up in and lived. But yet to be on the outside like they were doing all this virtue signaling and all that, I just called. I call. I was just so worked up because I was calling BS on it because the very thing that they were talking about, I was that kid in the ghetto. I was that kid in the hood, and I'm like, no, uh-uh, what y'all talking about? That, that what, you guys weren't the problem. The issue that a lot of black people have right now is swallowing a hard red pill, and that's to realize that we absolutely are the biggest problem and the biggest threat to us progressing, not white people. Well, we were just talking about this in the previous segment, mm-hmm. which is, of course, the, the mm-hmm. crime in the inner city. Now that we have a defund police movement, we have demonization of police are bad, you know, not diverse, whatever the concern is. And this is leading to the deaths of more minorities. But yes. the, the media doesn't want to talk about that. That's not a convenient narrative. And no, you'd rather talk convenient. about how everyone's so racist in the schools and turn the kids against each other. Right. They got you looking at they got you. They got you focused on something else while something else behind your back is going on. Everything that's happening right now. Again, no, I don't care if anybody wants to agree with me or not. I live this stuff. The biggest threat to me when I was growing up was somebody that looked exactly like me. I never had no threat from any white police officer or any white person whatsoever. And to get myself through school like I did, there was no system there that they claimed that was there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just calling like this now. Back in the day, slave days and, you know, pre uh Civil rights movement, I get that. But in today's world, absolutely not. All they're doing is keep on handing folks walkers. Why are they doing it? Why are they pushing this on the kids? Because they want them to believe that they can't achieve anything. They want to just make it all about their race. They can't do anything. And to me, I told them, you know, it's going to keep you there. The very person that claimed that they're helping you, if you keep on handing a person a walker and saying, this is me helping you, that person will never become independent. One of my degrees in physical therapy, our number one goal is to get our patients independent. And as they become better and stronger and uh, more uh, progressing in their um the set things that we have set for them, the set programs, we take the assistive device away because they're becoming more independent, which means they can do things on their own. But what we get right now from the government is they just keep on handing people walkers saying, this is me helping you. See, look how good we are. This is us helping you. But having no idea is damaging you because you're going to remain disabled. Hard to disagree with that. Absolutely. If you agree as well, please like and share. Get this video out there. Thank you for your continued support, and I'll check you on the next video. Have a good day.